Okay, so I did not want to make this video, but many of you requested. In today's video, we are pitting the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE against its own sibling, the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, let me give you my recommendation. If you are in the market for either one of these two tablets and money is not an issue, the obvious choice is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. Now, with that being said, that does not apply to everyone's situation. That's the reason we are making this video. Let's go ahead and compare these two or start the comparison with the physical attributes of these tablets. We will find some slight differences from the get-go. At the bottom here, we have a USB Type-C port on either one of these two tablets, but immediately you will notice some differences. As I mentioned there, you will see a dual speaker setup with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE, right? One on each side, whereas on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus, we have a quad speaker setup, two speakers on each side of the tablet. Now, as far as sound quality goes, I can tell you that the A9 Plus is louder than the S9 FE. However, the sound quality is much better on the S9 FE when compared to the a9 Plus. The next difference that you will immediately notice is the fact that on the S9 FE, there is no headphone jack. We have a headphone jack here on the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus there, so that is missing on the S9 FE. On the side here, you have your usual suspects, so power button, volume rocker, but here's another difference. On the S9 FE, that power button also combos as a fingerprint sensor, so you can actually unlock your tablet using that physical fingerprint sensor that's embedded in that power button. You do not have that feature on the A9 Plus, it's simply a power button. You then have the pogo pins on either one of these two tablets so that you can snap them in, you know, the keyboard, the official Samsung keyboard, and then you have the micro SD card slot for you to go ahead and put in that micro SD card in order to expand the internal storage. Looking around both tablets, you will also notice that the S9 FE have more mics around the tablet when compared to the A9 Plus. The S9 FE definitely picks up better sound than the A9 Plus here. Still staying on the back here, you have a single shooter, a single camera on either one of these two tablets, and it is an eight megapixel camera. It's the same one on either one. The difference is when you flip them over the front of the tablet here, on the A9 Plus, you have a five megapixel front-facing camera. You'll be able to, you know, video call, video conference with people, no issues there, but you need to really make sure that the setting is well lit, otherwise quality will suffer. You will have some video noise. Now, when it comes down to front-facing camera on the S9 FE here, you have a 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera that has a much better quality when it comes down to videos or even pictures, right? So better camera on the front of the S9 FE when compared to that of the A9 Plus here. And one of the biggest difference, I'm holding it right in my hand here, would be the S Pen. The ability or the support for S Pen on the S9 FE, it does come with its native pencil or pen, whatever you want to call it, its native stylus here, whereas the A9 Plus here does not support a native pencil. Now you can buy a capacitive pencil in order for you to use or take down notes on the A9 here, but I can tell you that the experience is gonna be very, very different when compared to the user experience you get from using an S Pen with the Tab S9 here. It's gonna be terrible user experience on the A9 when compared to the user experience offered by the S Pen that you use with the S9 FE. Now still sticking with the front of the tablet there, you will notice that the bezel is slightly thinner on the S9 FE as opposed to what you have on the A9 Plus here. You have an IPS display on the S9 FE as opposed to a TFT display on the Tab A9 Plus. With that being said, comparing both displays here, the S9 FE offers a much better display in terms of pixels, PPI, you know, color, how vibrant it is, it's definitely a much better display. Here's one thing that they do have in common though. The S9 FE here does support high refresh rate at 90 Hertz. And you do have that same refresh rate supported here on the A9 Plus. So things do flow pretty smoothly on the A9 Plus as well. But overall, the S9 FE has a better display. It's brighter, it's sharper, it's just a 
an overall better display. Let's go ahead and talk battery. On the A9 Plus here, you have a 7,040 milliamp, I believe. I could be wrong. I think it's roughly 7,040 milliamp. On the S9 FE, you have an 8,000 milliamp hour battery. So larger battery for about the same size when it comes down to the size of the tablet. You have 11 inches on the A9 Plus here, as opposed to 10.9 inches on the S9 FE. So it's even a slightly smaller tablet the S9 FE that is, slightly smaller tablet with a larger battery than you find on the slightly larger tablet here. Meaning battery life is definitely better on the S9 FE there. It does last longer. You definitely will see an entire day, even if you're a power user and have some battery life left at the end of the day so that you can go ahead and slap that back on the charger. On top of that, it does support 45 watt charging, right? So you can actually charge the S9 FE here much faster than you would the A9 Plus here because it supports up to 15 watt charging. So it would charge three times faster on the S9 FE. Now let's go ahead and talk specs and performance here, starting off with the Galaxy Tab S9 FE here. The base model will come loaded with 128 gigs of internal storage, and that does come accompanied with six gigs of RAM. If you were to go for the next config, which would be 256 gigs of internal storage, you will then get an additional two gigs of RAM, making it a total of eight gigs of RAM for the 256 gigs config of the S9 FE. On the Galaxy Tab A9, Plus here, the base model will run you 64 gigs of internal storage with four gigs of RAM. If you were to go for the next config, which is 128 gigs of internal storage, then it would afford you another four gigs of RAM, making it a total of eight gigs of RAM, which is impressive, right? Meaning if you were to buy the 128 gigs of internal storage, of the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus here, you will get eight gigs of RAM. And that eight gigs of RAM is what you get when you buy the 256 gigs of internal storage of the S9 FE. Just interesting, but still, that doesn't dictate, you know, that alone doesn't dictate performance. When it comes down to the chipset, the S9 FE here is loaded with an Exynos 1380, whereas what you have on the A9 Plus is a Snapdragon 695. Now, despite Qualcomm being known for making, you know, some of the top chipsets out there, you know, in their line, the Snapdragon line, the performance that you get from the A9 Plus is not on par with what you have with the S9 FE. On the S9 FE, you definitely have better performance when it comes down to playing games, to multitasking and all that good stuff, definitely better on the S9 FE. Here. By the way, the A9 Plus here is a budget tablet, but this year or this time around, Samsung made it so that it now supports Samsung DeX. You have Samsung DeX that used to be available only for mid ranges like the S9 FE here and flagship, but now you have it available on the A9 Plus, which is pretty cool. But then again, even though you can use it on here, it's just a better experience on the S9 FE because it performs better, right? You can certainly do things on the A9 Plus here, but of course you will run into lags and sometimes crashes, something that you are less likely to encounter on the S9 FE, unless of course you really push the envelope. And another thing worth mentioning is the fact that the Tab S9 FE here is actually water resistant. If you were to drop this sucker in the, water, in the pool of water, it would actually survive for a certain period of time, whereas the A9 Plus is not water resistant. Now, my plan for this video was never really to highlight every single difference that exists between these two tablets, but instead to highlight the core differences that exist enough for you to be able to make that purchasing decision, right? So if you have any additional questions, make sure to put those in the comment section. And once again, my recommendation is the S9 FE if money is not an issue. Now, let's say you do have the money for either one of these two, but you just want something simple that you're gonna be using maybe ever so rarely or so. You might just want something that you wanna lay on the couch and maybe browse the internet really quick. You don't need the S Pen. You don't need any of that extra stuff. You don't need any of the extra stuff offered by the S9 FE. Then the A9 Plus is actually a pretty good choice because you know it's a budget tablet. Currently they have discounts on this. I will have some links in the description, by the way, if you wanna go ahead and grab either one of these two, right? So they do have some discounts on both tablets, but you could definitely find the A9 Plus here at a very affordable price, you know? So if you're not looking for something 
really major or anything very complicated, the A9 Plus would actually also be a very nice pickup. Anyways, let me know what your take is on either one of these two tablets. Like I said, you know, I'm gonna have the links in the description if you wanna go ahead and grab one. Let me know what your questions, comment. Make sure, of course, to share this video if you know anyone who will be interested. Make sure to like the video if you haven't done so. Make sure to subscribe, by the way. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I will catch you in the comment section. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video, up until that next video, of course, as always. Stay safe out there.